Dia de Muertos is the latest update for Horizon 5. Everything you need to know is right here. The new cars, the new car pack, the new features, everything in this video. Let's jump straight into it. But before we do, I am giving away some Forza Motorsport Premium Edition codes. If you want a chance to win, make sure you're subscribed and comment your gamer tag. I'll be picking a few people within the next few days. So let's start off with the festival playlist for this update. Now for the full series, for 80 points, you can get the Ferrari 250 GT. And for 160 points, the Ferrari F8 Tribute from 2019. On to the first week which is summer, for 20 points you can get the first new car, the Nissan Tsuru from 2010 and for 40 points the Nissan Z from 2023. The Nissan Tsuru is the most highly requested car that we were promised as per the splash screen from the last update. Some people are a bit surprised that the Nissan Tsuru is the most requested car but if you look at the suggestion sub it is right at the top. That is what we've been suggesting the most. Now the Forzaton shop for that first week has the Ferrari P4 from 1967. Formula Drift 325i, Pink Blazer Jacket and Haunted House Car Horn. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Autumn, the second week, for 20 points you can get the next new car of this month, the Myers Manx 2.0, which I think is electric. And for 40 points you can get the Subaru WRX from 2015. The Forzathon shop for that second week has the Hot Wheels Metro from 1957, a Formula Drift HSV, Festival Sombrero Hat and a Macarena Emote. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week. Winter, the third week. For 20 points, you can get the Bronco Raptor. That is the third new car of this month. And for 40 points, the Plymouth Fury. Forzathon Shop has stuff like the Radical RXC, Aston Martin V12 Vantage, gold leather boots, and Mexican traffic car horn. Here are the rest of the challenges available that third week. fourth week which is spring the final week of the month for 20 points you can get the fourth new car the porsche 356 sl and for 40 points the Vauxhall carlton the forzathon shop for that fourth week has the selene s7 the ford bronco ultra 4 rtr spike crew socks and a sleepy emote here are the rest of the challenges available on that last week So that is the full festival playlist covered, it's got four of the eight new cars because the remaining four cars are in a new car pack called the Super Speed Car Pack. It's available from October the 10th and it's not included in the car pass as we can expect as it's been, uh, that's basically done now. That will have the 2019 Elemental RP1 which I had never heard of, the 2020 KTM Expo GT2, 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS and the 2022 Volkswagen Golf R. Bit of a mixture of cars there, but I actually think quite a lot of them are highly suggested cars, so people will be happy that they're in. What's really interesting is the 2020 KTM Expo was one of the cars leaked a couple of months ago now. That is only, This is only making that leak more and more credible. At this moment in time, I do not know exactly how much it costs, but I'll put it on screen if I now know. There's a new drift camera feature, more specifically in chase view. It's available in the hood and gameplay in the settings menu. It adds the drift camera to chase camera view, whether that's a close chase or the far chase. So it's not only now available in the cockpit, but now the exterior view. It includes the drift counter sensitivity setting, drift camera look speed setting, and the drift camera range setting. Bit unexpected this, I don't know if this was suggested on the suggestions hub, I can imagine it probably was if they added something like this. Uh, but yeah, drift camera now works in chase view. Now another new feature is in the Eliminator, the 2020 2010 I nearly said then, the 2010 Nissan Suru which is unlocked in week one can be selected as one initial one's initial car when starting a game of the Eliminator. So now it's not only the Volkswagen Beetle that you can choose but the Nissan Suru as well. I'm going to presume that you can pick it even if you haven't unlocked it because it's going to be an exclusive car after this month. So whether you have it or not you can probably use it 
in the Eliminator as a starter car. We have some new Event Lab props. As we can see, they're all they are all Dia de Muertos sort of type style props. There are um, several available in the Decorations tab, or more specifically 12. There are two available in the Horizon Story tab, and then there's one available in the Gameplay tab. It seems to be... We had a look at what Dia de Muertos kind of looks like in our clue video and we can see it's kind of, you can get the vibe from what you see on screen. So I'm going to presume all the props will be following that kind of vibe. These will be available when the update drops, presumably early next week. There are some evolving world sort of additions and changes. We have the Dia de Muertos decorations, Dia de Muertos drone show and the Tank Mariachi Collectible, which is also available in Event Lab as a prop. Now those will start on October the 12th, which I think is the Thursday, so that is the start of the first week. There will be these evolving world changes for the Dia de Muertas. Now there's a few miscellaneous changes as well. There are two new badges available that are probably around the same theme, unlocked through the festival playlist, I would guess. There is a new accolade, which is probably for collecting all of the cars. And then there are three new cosmetic items, two Dia de Moritas outfits, along with a Forza Motorsport race suit as well, which is actually delivered to all players, regardless of if you're playing Forza Motorsport or not. Now, speaking about Forza Motorsport, the Corvette E-Ray is now available in Horizon 5, as you get this for free if you've played Forza Motorsport sport and Forza Motorsport is now released so I think I've been told that it's within 24 hours so don't expect the E-Ray to be straight into your garage if you've been playing motorsport might take 24 hours or so might take a day or two to actually reach your garage but that is now available within Horizon 5 finally. Bugs and fixes are always 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 a big thing. This isn't everything that was fixed within the update, but these are some of the notable ones for the October 10 update, which is when the update drops, but not when the season changes over. If you want to read some of the books and fixes, feel, feel free to pause and have a read. Now, there are also new achievements, which seem to be a bit mixed. They're not all to do with the um, Dia de Muertos thing. It seemed to be going back to some of the old Horizon stories like the Donut Media story and the Icons of Speed story. These aren't accolades but these seem to be like very similar to accolades so I recommend going back and getting these achievements because some of these are actually quite high G's I suppose you could say. But yeah, new achievements are on the list. Now that is everything for the Dia de Muertos update but I want to take a quick look at the Elite car list because we can now update that as per the cars that have been added within the update. Now, the Nissan Sura or anything wasn't on here, it wasn't leaked per se, but as I said earlier, the KTM Expo was. So that is now two of the cars that were leaked a few months ago have finally made their way into the game. We have the new M3 that made its way in, and now the KTM Expo within a car pack. So these are the cars down here that, have, that were leaked in the same sort of batch, I would say, are definitely possibilities to come in future upcoming updates. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.